Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, you today. Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi. Good evening. How is everything? Good. Good. Be better than yesterday. Yeah, because it's not raining. <laughs> yes. Okay. I hope we don't play how uh, uh, disappearing today. Okay. Let me see. Okay, good. Okay, this is... <clears throat> This is the video that we watched last night, right? Okay, here we yeah. have. Okay, you have this knowledge check. Did you listen to this video? I mean, this uh, audio? In section I, one. That, that that was the we listened yesterday. Yes, I think it is. I'm gonna play it again so that we can have some. Uh, let's hit on three one, so that we can check and review the the information. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and two. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also two. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. Okay, I think you have the information, right? Yeah. Yes. Let's see. We can, we can answer the questions. Yes, we can answer the, the questions now. The beginning of the, of the video. Yeah. All right. So then we don't need to watch the other, the rest because we already did. Then we have, uh, according to the audio, 
the section three one apartments the uh, we can say the first one the second one or the third one the first the, one the first one all right we have third one are too small for pets good and this one which is correct apartments is in uh apartments isn't comfortable enough apartments are too comfortable for family or apartments aren't comfortable enough the third okay the uh, third or last right which is correct apartments don't have privacy enough or apartments don't have enough privacy or apartments have enough privacy the don't second, second, the second one don't have enough privacy don't have enough privacy which is correct right apartments don't have enough don't have space enough apartments don't have enough space apartments have space enough the second one yes you know the other ones when you are reading them you you see that you feel the the mistake right okay and we have the answers number four is correct number two, three is also correct the number two is correct as well and the number one okay there we are now questions about vocabulary or anything here so far no no, no teacher okay perfect so then let's move on okay number three okay now uh, we have the, the structures here remember yesterday we have just us is when we want to compare that something is similar to another uh, thing right you could be a person a thing or a place okay uh, for example you can say uh messi is just as uh, as good as good as Cristiano Ronaldo, right? This is if you want to say that they are, I mean, they have similar, uh, let's say, characteristics, right? And then you can say similar. Uh, enough, sufficient, and two is when we want to express that something has more, probably in some cases more than it is needed. Okay, so these are the, okay, now the other one we have is just uh, too few. Okay. Too few is the opposite of too much. Okay. Not enough. So these structures are the ones that are important to, to practice, right? So then we have the comparatives that we had yesterday too. And we have this knowledge check. Okay. Which one is correct? Who wants to answer this one? Diego? In my opinion, which is correct? Mm -hmm. Number one. Number in one. My opinion, house are a expensive apartment in my neighborhood. Give me a second, please. In my opinion, house are expensive as apartment. Uh, the second one, maybe. Okay. Everybody agree? Yes, the last one. Diego, yes, you want? Yes, the last one. So you use just, just one, just us. Yes, yeah, the last one. Just as expensive as apartment. Apartment, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. So. Okay. What about the next one? Hala? I didn't hear the audio. This one? Okay, my neighbor's, you say my neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house isn't as big as his, is big as his, or isn't as big as his. Which of these three, uh, let's say, phrases or fragments complete this sentence? Which one okay. make, make sense? I think the second. 
second one, my neighbor. For me, the last one. My neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house is the big one. as his. Last mm. one. He said as big. The first one. Yeah. The first one. Okay. Uh, the last one. Why the last one? Who said the the last one? Isn't as big as his. Uh huh. Why? Why? Okay, I will tell you something. It is correct, but why? Because it's comparison that my house with my his house. Exactly right. So here, when we are going to compare, so we use as, as. Okay, the two words here. Okay, so for example, we say my neighbor's house has five rooms, but my house is not as big as his house. Okay, so this one, when you see the two as, as, it's like when you're saying tan como, right? So then it makes more sense that only as big as his, it's big as his. Okay, I, I will, let's see the other one and then we check the end. The next one, I don't like to live in apartments because they don't have where? as many rooms as houses. Don't have as many rooms as houses. Uh -huh. That could be the first don't one. Have, don't have many rooms. Don't have many rooms as houses. Okay, and don't have as much rooms as houses. Okay, and the last one. My new house doesn't have as much space. Enough space? Not much. It could be as much. And yes. doesn't have enough. Okay. It could be, it could be, ah, well, I'll tell you after some, some, uh, let's say, difference, right? Okay. Now let's see the answers. Okay. So here, the possibilities is as much, like this one as much with capital A or as much. As much again. Uh, as much again, right. Okay, yeah, but this is correct. A space is a known town now, right? So then uh, this one, uh, somebody said enough, okay? If you say in my case, if it, this is because it's the platform, right? And the platform, they, they sometimes put some possible answers. But if you say uh, my new house doesn't have a enough space for for my children, for my pets, okay, as my old house, then you will need something else, okay. So it could you could use it, but you need to put some extra information, okay. In this case, uh, don't have as many rooms as houses. You can say, for example, don't have many rooms as houses do, okay? But I'm telling you this because I already, I know this is probably something that you will study in other levels, okay? But in this moment, what you have to do is use the two forms, the thing as, as. There are sometimes other possibilities, right? To say this, okay? But in this moment, we're going to study and we're going to stay with this one because it can be also confusing to practice three or four different forms to say. But it's good that you know that there might be other possibilities. And in this one, if you see, it's as big as his. His is like his house. And in the first one, obviously, in my, in my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neck. Okay? Okay. So this is what we are going to, to practice in this moment, right? Sure. Okay, we're going to practice in this moment. Here. Okay, good. Hey, let me see now. 
we can get the chance to Jose Luis. Could you please read? Could you please read this uh, this lesson objective that we have here? Okay. Do you listen to me? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, expressing wishes and desires is a big part of the communicating with friends. Learn how to express wish, wish that you have about your personal life, career, or health. This lesson, this from English teacher John Sams, explains how to use the verb to wish in the present tense and, com and combining it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job or I wish I were thinner. This lesson included in oral language compression exercise. Comprehension exercise. Okay, good. What do we understand here? What we have here says? In, in, the, in the first sentence. Uh huh. In the first sentence, it says. I think, well, uh -huh. in, in all sentences, things, uh, uh, I think, is referring about things that we obviously we wish, but in, in, uh, in uh, I don't know how do you say it. A possibility that that you that you want or or a thing that you that you wish is uh -huh, something that it's a wish. Uh -huh, it's a mm -hmm. it's a desire that we that we have about something, right? But that, uh -huh. that's what it says. Look at this one that says about your person uh, expressing wishes and desires is a big part of uh, communicating with friends, right? For example, express wishes that we have about your personal life. Wishes are things that probably probably in this moment, uh, things or probably uh, goals that we have not reached in this moment, right? Okay, so that's why it is a wish. It's something that I want because I don't have it yet, okay? And then in how do we use this verb? How can we express this idea in the present tense look at this this is important in the present tense and combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes okay for example i wish i wish is in present or in past in present present okay in present. But, but you see what it follows after is in past right in past right combine, uh -huh, with a verb of the past uh -huh. i wish i didn't live with my parents Okay, so this one is the wish. Then what is the reality? Interpret this. I wish I didn't live with my parents. That is, what is the reality? The reality is that, that he or she now is living with her parents. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. So then, for example... For example, can I say, teacher, I, I wish I spoke English like... Greetings, for, for example. Okay, yes, it's a wish. Exactly, mm -hmm. and it's something that you don't do in this moment. Or I yeah. wish, for example, this one, I wish I had a different job. Mm -hmm. I wish I had money. I don't have, the reality, I don't have money. Okay, uh, I wish I had more free time. Okay. But, but we can use that, that form and with, with different verb. Oh yes, any verb, any wish that you have. For example, I wish I, I didn't eat too much, for example, you no, know, something silly, something funny. I wish I didn't, uh, I weren't. I, I wish, for example, I wish I were thinner. I wish I weren't. Fat. Okay, so you see it's something that probably is not uh, the reality in this moment. In other cases, they call it contrary to fact, right? Contrary to the reality, this expression. 
that you wish something that you are not or that you don't have in this moment. Okay? Yeah. okay. So this is just for you to, to introduce, right? This, for example, uh, uh, Anna, can you give me an example of this? Something that you wish? Okay. Mm, whatever you want. Whatever I want. Yeah, whatever you want. I wish. Okay. I wish I want the lottery. Okay. I wish I want the lottery, right? So then that means that you don't have the lottery in your hands yet okay good <laughs> okay good uh, gladys can you tell me a sentence hello gladys don't leave us gladys no can i wish yeah who, who who said can i no 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 Me. Where, where is Ah, I have a question. Okay. Well, Diego and then Fernando. Okay, I will, no, Gladys, do you want to participate? Gladys is there? Yeah. Okay, Gladys, go ahead. Can I say, for example, <laughs> I referring to a third person in, in, in our case now, uh -huh. here in, in our class. I wish Ay, mira, Fatima, saber que le hice esto. Okay. <laughs> can, can I say, can I say, I wish Gladys were there. I wish Gladys were there, uh-huh. But this is, okay, remember that this is in the case that you know that she's not there, right? For example, yeah, I could say, I, I, have, if, I could say. If she is not, if, but. If she is not here in, in our class now, can I say this? In, <laughs> yes, I wish, uh, I wish Gladys to a were person. here. I wish Gladys were here. We're here. We're here. Uh -huh. Gladys, are you here? <laughs> yes. Okay. Good, good. I have a problem. <laughs> no problem. I wish you didn't have problems. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I wish. Um, I have um, different work. Okay, good. I wish I had a different work. I wish I had a different job. Very good. Excellent. Thank okay. you, Gladys. Excuse me. All right, no problem. Okay, Diego, you wanted to say something? Yes, I wish the quarantine finished soon. Okay, I wish the quarantine were over. Were over. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay, or I wish the, the quarantine finished, right? Finished in past tense. Remember that after this, I wish, then the subject in this case would be the quarantine, right? We say uh, we're over or finished soon. Remember okay. in the next sentence, the next sentence is in simple past. Okay? okay. Simple okay. past. Oh. Teacher, I have a question. Who who is speaking? Who has a question? Laura. Laura, okay. Hey. Laura, tell me, Laura. If I want to say, if I want to say, I didn't wish, is right. I. I. Didn't. I, I didn't or I don't wish. Uh huh. I don't wish I didn't live with my parents, for example, is right. Mm, I mean, it's a little confusing. I don't wish, then you don't have a uh, wish. I, I, I don't wish I live with my parents. parents? I, I think, uh, but no, the thing is that is this referring is... To the sentence. A question. I think Laura is referring something similar like in the first in the first sentence because no because she doesn't have a she doesn't have a you don't have a wish uh, laura um, I if mean, i you, want to say in negative i wish uh -huh, no, I, I, I don't wish <laughs> i don't know uh -huh, for yeah, example but not, yes but in that case in fact in that case if you want to say that you don't wish i mean you don't have a wish for example you can say for example i feel fine living with my parents okay so then, or for example, you can, if, but uh, it depends on the context, Laura, because suppose that if I say, I wish I didn't live with my parents, and mm -hmm. then you tell me, okay, I wouldn't wish, uh, I, wouldn't. 
I wouldn't okay. wish that. Okay. If I were okay. you, if I were you, I wouldn't wish that. You got it? When you say, for yes. example, if I were you, I wouldn't wish that. Or well, for yes. example, I wouldn't wish. I be, okay, in that case, you can say this. I wouldn't wish I didn't live with my parents. Okay? So in that okay, case. Okay, thank you. Something is something that, algo que yo no desearía, right? I wouldn't yes, wish. Yes, yes, okay. yes. I okay, yes. Okay, I'm going now. Okay, because if you don't have a wish, then say, I wouldn't wish that. Because if you say, I don't wish, then I, <laughs> yes. that makes no sense. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Thank nice question. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the question. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Now, well, this is just the introduction, right? Now, let's see the video, see some more explanations to get better ideas. And after we continue with more practice, okay? Okay. Let's see here. The sound is okay, right? Hello, everyone. By the yeah. end of this class, you'll learn. Yes. Okay. So let's how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay. But my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again, or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't. And then whatever compliment, right? Didn't live with my parents. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, the other example is quite similar. I wish I had my own apartment. 
in that second example we can see that it's no longer in its negative form so therefore we're going to use the verb in the past so the example will be i wish i had my own apartment so this is going to be in the past so let's try to make sense of that second example there i can't move out so what happens there i can't move out the only thing that changed was that i'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb um, but what you got to remember here is that the, mo the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. And so that's basically what we're going to do here. I wish I could. move out now let's try to make sense of the example life is difficult as you can see the verb that we're using there is the verb to be and something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes we're gonna use where for all of the pronouns it doesn't matter if we're talking about I he she it we you or they for all of them we're going to use where and so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom after which where is used with old pronouns so if we think about the example life is difficult and we want to express a wish then we can say I wish and the subject again, life where easier uh, and of course you can make that in a negative statement I wish life weren't so difficult but it's basically the same pattern that we're following in the last example my parents won't stop worrying about me well what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there so my parents won't stop worrying about me in that particular case I'm gonna turn want or will not into would right so I wish and in this case subject my parents would stop and then whatever compliment right What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes. We want to express family wishes. We want to express health wishes. We want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example, I wish my bedroom were bigger. What kind of wishes do you have about your school or job? Well, I wish my job were easier. What kind of wishes do you have about your appearance, the way that you look? Well, I wish I were thinner. What kind of wishes do you have about your family? I wish I had two children, right? And what kind of wishes do you have about your possessions? Well, I don't have a car, so I wish I had a car. That's a, just a quick example. Um, and what kind of wishes do you have about your skills? I don't know how to program computers. I wish I knew how to program computers. And so on and so forth. So I would like for you to come up with your own examples about the kind of wishes you have about yourself, about your family, about your health, about your skills. Okay. Do you have uh, any questions? No. 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 Okay. I can't move out. So that's basically what's a wish. 
Hindus. In the last example, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject, my parents would stop and then whatever compliment, right? Okay, this is what I wanted to. Okay, just remember this thing, right? We have four uh, different uh, sentences here. One with uh, with all the verbs, right? You have all the verbs, like play, work, study, uh, jump, see, eat, sh uh, take a shower, uh, think, sleep, read, write, uh, learn. All the verbs can be here. Right? Uh, then you can, have, but uh, you say, I wish I had, I wish I played, for example, I wish I played soccer better. Okay? So that means that I play soccer, but probably I am not really good, right? I wish I, I drove, I drove a, I said, a, Landscapes. a faster, huh? A what? Landscape. Landscape. Yeah. No, draw, draw, like, dry, like drive. No, the past tense of draw is drew, okay? Oh, uh, the, past phrase, the past tense of drive. I wish I drove uh, faster. And then uh, you can use any verb, right? Then you have, for example, can. Then when we use can here, if you see, we are not using uh, the, the, then you can say, I wish I could move out. I wish I couldn't, uh, let's say I couldn't, something that I couldn't do. I wish I couldn't, uh, what? Think about something that you wish you couldn't do or, or say. Okay, I wish I couldn't uh, say that words, for example. Something like that. Okay, you can use an affirmative or negative. And then when we use the verb to be, Remember, I wish it were. Remember that here we use only were, no was. Okay? I were, you were, he were, she were, it were, we were, they were. For all of them, is were. It's a hypothetical situation, right? I wish it were easier. Okay? I wish, uh, for example, a, it were cooler. I wish it were uh, cold, okay, not hot. And then in this case, this is my parents want to stop worrying about me. Then this is when we wish a person to act in a different way, okay? I wish they would stop worrying about me. I wish my, my children would call me. Suppose that, for example, my children never call me. Okay, they won't call me. I wish my children would call me. Okay, this is, for example, when we have about something about the future. That's why we wanted to stop. When you have one, then we use would. And if it is the verb to be, then we're going to use where. Okay? If it is can, could, and then with the rest of the verb, we use the simple time. That's what I wanted to emphasize. And then... Okay, this is something different. Now we're going to go back to, to have some practice. Okay, good. Now, what are some other uh, examples how we can use? For example, I wish my house, uh, I wish my house were, uh, were as big as Roberto's house. Okay, okay, I wish my house where as big as over those apps. So I am using I am uh, using the comparative and I also using the structure of wish. I mean this is for for you to mix the the previous topic and this one. But you can use any other form of or structure or wish that you have. 
Okay, who wants to express wishes now? Remember, you can use can, verb to be, any other verb, or the future. For example, I wish, uh, let's see, um, I wish the, the government and the, and the assembly, and the, uh, and the assembly, a uh, Lexera uh, would, would come into an agreement. Okay. I wish they would finally, they would finally come into an agreement, right? Probably they won't. Okay. This is the reality, right? Probably. I don't know. This, this is just a wish that we have. What else? Now, you think about your example. You can write one if you want and then say it, see if it is correct or if it is not. And then we can, we for can example, learn. Mm -hmm. For example, I, I don't know if, I, if I'm correct in my case. Uh, now I can't go to the beach and I like beach. Mm -hmm. I wish I could. Yes. Go to the beach. I wish. Because I if I am, I wish I could go to the beach. Yes. That means that in this moment you can't. Yeah, because now I can't. Now in, in this moment I can't go, but I, I could go. That's why you said uh -huh, I wish I could go to the beach. The beach. Yes, that's correct. Uh, another one? Me, teacher. Go ahead. I wish, wish I took a shower. <laughs> I wish I could, well, I wish I took a shower, that could be. Take a shower. Huh? Take a shower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Well, but you can say it to form, right? I was, because I wish I took a shower, it means I took a shower every day. Okay, it could be I wish uh -huh. I took a shower every every week. I we oh you can say I wish I could take a shower in this moment, right? Because it's very hot. Only only with the ID number. Today <laughs> with the ID number she yes. takes a shower. Yes. Okay. <laughs> good. What else? Another example. Good, good. Go ahead. Well, you know, for example, another one that you can see sometimes with that example, sometimes it happens with children, right? For example, you know, my, my, my little daughter, sometimes she doesn't want to take a shower, right? And then I said, I, then I had to fight, you know, every day, you know, to, you know, with her, you know, in order to have her take a shower. So then I wish she would take a, a shower without fighting, okay? You know, that's my wish, right? But every day I have to check, go oh, insist and insist and insist. So you can, it can be about a third person in that case. Okay, another one? Come on, give examples, give examples. And I will. Teacher. Okay. Diego. Diego, uh -huh. And then Ana, okay, Diego. I wish I would go to the mountain. I wish I would go to the mountain, right? So not, you're, not, you're not going to be able for some time, maybe. Okay, Ana? I don't like um, basketball. I wish I like basketball. I wish I liked basketball, yes. Okay, good, good. That's a good one. All right. But you know, in, in these cases, for example, you know, you can also give also a reference, right? Uh, for example, uh, I can say, I don't like uh, all vegetables, right? I don't like all vegetables. I like vegetables, but not all of them. I wish I liked all vegetables. Okay, good. Another one. Teacher, I can say, I wish I would change the violence. In the whole world, yes. Uh, I, no, wish okay. I would change, yes. I yes, because it's a future, I uh -huh. would. Uh, it's okay. Yes, I wish I would change the, all, all the president would change the... Oh, yes. Uh -huh, yes, about the... It's first. good. Yeah. Good. Okay. What else? Think about wishes. Remember, it's just a wish, so you can invent. You can. It doesn't matter if it is something 
not using wool and wool, I, I, for example, I wish I had a cow or a, a horse. I wish, yes, I wish I had a cow. I wish I, possessions, right? Okay, yeah. let's let's use for example the ideas. Okay, what are possessions that you would like to, that you wish that you don't have in this moment? I mean anything. For example, I wish I had um, the latest the latest iPhone. Uh, for example, uh, I don't have the which is the latest? I think it's the eleven, right? Eleven, the iPhone, the latest. Which ah, one? The, the iPhone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish, for example, I wish I, I had the latest iPhone. Okay, possessions. What is something that you wish in this moment, Ada? Something that you wish, wish I wish I had. I... Your microphone, Ada. Hi. Okay, get it closer. Get it closer. I wish I had a car. Okay, very good. I wish I had a car. Perfect. Okay. I wish I had the PS5. Okay, the PS5. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, I did. Um, I wish I sleep. Okay, <laughs> I, <laughs> I wish I could sleep. <laughs> I could sleep. I could sleep. Okay, good. Carlos? Uh, I wish practice uh, chase mate every day. I wish I practice chase mate. Okay. Check. Uh, that means uh, chess? Yes, chess. Uh -huh. Like play chess, right? Okay, chess. Ah, yes. uh, chess. Chess, uh -huh. yes. Okay, good. Carlos Sura? Okay. Um, I wish uh, I wish I had uh, ah. the new the new iPhone. Okay, good. I wish I had the new iPhone. Excellent. Me too. Okay, Anna. I wish I have a car. I wish I had a car. Okay, Jose Luis. I wish I had a ah. house, a new house. I wish I had a new house. Okay, good. Perfect. Uh, Israel. Okay, oh, Javier, are you ready? Okay, I wish I could um, do more exercise. I wish I could do more exercise. Okay, good. Uh, Mariela? Yes, I wish I could have a better score in my university. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, Israel. No, not yet. Okay, uh, Gladys. Okay, I don't know it's correct. Uh, my bedroom is painted of white. I wish I paint of green. I wish it were green. It were green. Huh? For example, okay. you can say, my, my bedroom is white. I wish okay. it were green. Okay. Okay. I wish I were green. It were okay. green. Okay, good. Marvin. No. Okay, and Laura? Okay, I wish, but I wish I bought camel. I wish. I wish I bought camel. <laughs> okay, I wish I bought a camel. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, yes. Yeah, all right, good. Nice pet. <laughs> okay, Leah. I wish I had a swimming pool. I wish I had a swimming pool. Okay, good. Okay, you see, those are a. Uh, Possessions, right? Things that we wish, and some other ideas. But also, we have the skills, right? For example, the skills. I think Fernando said one at the beginning. I wish I spoke English um, as a British uh, native speaker, right? And as a British man. 
Okay, uh, what is a skill that you would like to have, that you wish you had? Okay, for example, I wish, um, I say I wish I could fly a plane or a helicopter. Okay, but that has a, that's a skill or ability that I don't have, right? I wish I could fly a plane, I wish I could fly a helicopter, and I also I wish I could ride a motorcycle. Okay. I wish I could read minds. I, I wish I could read minds. Okay, good. Okay, what else? What is abilities that you, that you wish that you have? Laura, what is an ability that you wish? Or probably that you I, have that you need to improve. Yes? I wish I could have, I wish that, I wish I could fly in the sky. I could? I could fly in the sky. Okay, very good, right? I wish I could fly, right? In the ah, okay, okay. Yes. I wish I wish I could fly. To fly. <laughs> I could fly, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. That's fine. I wish I could to fly in the sky. Okay. Good. Another one, another week. Remember that some of these wishes might be th things that probably are impossible, right? But it's just a wish. And sometimes we use this expression. Ligia? I wish I could play uh, guitar. I wish I could play the guitar. Okay, good. I, think. I wish I could be an actor. <laughs> okay, Mariela, an, act an actress, an actress. <laughs> an actress, sorry, yes. yes. Great, great. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. That's great. You really good. Okay, I wish I could be an actress. Okay, hi there. I be no. Okay, I wish she could say something. Okay, but she has a problem. Good, no problem either. Okay, no problem. Uh, but you can write a sentence if you want in the chat, okay? If you can listen. Go Good. Ahead, uh, uh, Javier, how about you? You said it, right? You said one, no? If I could study another career. I wish I could study another career, okay? Nada. A skill or ability. I could, I could uh, learn, learn to drive. Okay, good. I wish I could learn how to drive. Okay, very good. Okay, so these are wishes, okay, about different uh, issues, different things. And that we can use to express feelings, right? Feelings that we have. Okay, any questions in this moment? No. No, okay. No. Now the, la the last one, the last one we're gonna do is using where, okay? I wish I wear, okay? So I wish, okay. I wish you wear, I wish my mother wear, I wish my father, you can talk about any person, right? Okay, one volunteer. Okay, thank you, Ada. Wish I I were taller. I wish I were taller. Okay, good. Me too. Okay, anybody? <laughs> more. I think that that's that's a wish that I mean we all have, right? <laughs> Especially in Salvador. Okay, who else? Diego? I, I don't know if that's correct, but I wish I were in Colombia. Okay, yes, of course. All right, I wish I were in Colombia. Okay, it's different, you know, remember, I, I wish I were in Colombia and I wish I were Colombia. Oh, okay. okay yes, no, but it's okay. I wish I were in Colombia, but now you are even sorry. Yeah. Okay, good. Anybody else? I wish I were. Diego stole, Diego stole my idea. 
Okay. <laughs> but I was I was thinking in another country. Okay. Then I wish I were. Uh -huh. Which country I, were you thinking? Uh, yes, uh, I guess. Uh, Hanora. I wish I were the best economic. Economist. Okay. Economics. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Nice wish. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, Anna. I wish I weren't in a hospital. I in wish. that moment. <laughs> in this I moment. wish I weren't in a hospital. Okay. Are you in a hospital in this moment? No, in that moment, uh, for that um this is of coronavirus. Yes, okay. <laughs> I wish I weren't there, yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Yeah, because you cannot wish to be there. Okay, good. No. <laughs> Okay, good, 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 good. Anybody else? Come on, I wish I were. I there is writing. Yes, I wish I were she with my parents. Oh, uh -huh. Say it, say it, Fernando. No, I was reading that. Yes, yes. I was she wishes, she, she, she wishes. wishes. Uh -huh. She were with her parents. Okay. It's correct. If I'm preparing yes. a third person, can I say she wishes she were? Exactly. That's what that's what I asked you to do it, right? Because she says, I there wrote, I wish I were with my parents. Then she when wishes she read she it, were with her parents. She wishes she, wishes she uh -huh. were with her parents. Okay, that's I did. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, I day if you're not with your parents. That's a nice wish too. Okay, Lithia. Gladys, Carlos, Ramos, I don't know. I have one. I wish. Okay, Gladys and then Carlos Sura. Okay, Gladys. I wish my mother were funny. I wish my mother were funny. Yes. Okay, she's serious. Okay. Yeah. Carlos. I wish were with my mother. I wish I were with my were. mother. Yeah. I were with my mother. Carlos Sura. Okay, I wish it were easier to study in the university. I wish it were easier to study in the university. Good. Jose Luis? Yeah, Jose Luis? Yeah. Isra? Israel? Yeah. Well, they, yeah. have, they might have problems with the old. They, they don't turn on the camera because they are sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Probably they have pro connection to the problem. Uh, sometimes, you know, it happens when you connect with uh, with your cell phones, sometimes it gives more problems in these kinds of platforms, right? Mm -hmm. um, or they, or depends on the internet connection. Okay, good. Then uh, who's missing? Javier, you said one? Yes. Everybody participated? Nobody's missing? Okay. Yes, I want to participate. Okay, go ahead, Mariela. I wish I were famous. <laughs> I wish I were famous, okay, yes. I wish I were famous, I wish I were uh, a, for example, uh, something related to act, act, uh, let's say acting. I wish I were famous, I wish I were popular. Okay, it's another one that you can use. Okay, yes, Javier, you wanted to. Yes, um, I wish I were in an island. <laughs> I wish I were on an island. Okay, good. That's a nice wish. Especially this moment, right? Only you and your family, maybe. Okay. Would be, it would be good to be on an island. Okay, something. Who wrote in the chat? Uh, Jose Luis. I'm okay. so sorry, I have a problem with the audio. Yes, uh -huh, yes. Okay. No problem. Yes, you see, that's, that's what happens sometimes. Okay, good. Well, then uh, we have, uh, let me see, this is. Okay, for, uh, for Monday, uh, please uh, check this reading, check the vocabulary. Okay, and then you have the also the audio. Uh, you can listen. Okay, so we have. 
to listen to it. And then you have the, the audio here. And try to answer this question. We're going to begin with this, and then we're going to to have more more practice on the spreading houses. I guess that let me show you something. You can begin now answering also the the midterm test, right? So I think it's. It's very it's taking forever, it's very slow. And the other one is a listening. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have only the expressing wishes, knowledge check. Then uh, you can, uh, during this weekend, you can start with, uh, with the midterm exam, okay? And make sure also that you complete all the exercises on the platform, right? If you have doubts, questions, or problems, let me know. Okay, so that way that we can uh, that we can help you uh, on Monday to 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 keep all your your grades in order, and so that you don't have problems, right? Remember that you need to complete the eighty percent, right? The eighty percent of all the and to get the 80% in all the platform, right? And complete all the exercises. Okay, on Monday, we're going to talk about the exercises from the platform and see if you are doing good or if you need more help. Okay, anybody? Anybody, yeah. anybody has, uh, does anybody have a question? I wish I were the president of the United States. <laughs> okay, you will be one of the richest men in the world. Okay, so have a good night then, and I will see you on Monday. Okay, take care. Okay, bye -bye. teacher, bye bye. See you, bye -bye. Bye -bye. you on Monday. See you on Monday. Okay, good night. Have a good night. Have a good night.